In 2016, the Seventh-day Adventist Church accepted an invitation from the president of Rwanda to start a medical school. By 2019, the Adventist School of Medicine of East Central Africa, or ASOME, opened its doors with a clear mission view. And with the motto of, I will go preach, I will go teach, I will go heal, they go through their various courses with the lectures that are very much enthusiastic and involved in making sure that they have appropriate training for them to become those leaders that we expect from them for the future. Students from all over Africa are learning and experiencing Adventist education here. The school offers a six-year program, plus a one-year internship. Students also receive certifications, such as health leadership. If you take a look around or you take a tour around the school, you'll find that the school is equipped with high techs, and all these things are for, for, for a better doctors like us. The way they're teaching us is not only like to know things academically, but we are also being trained to be the best leaders in, in the future and also now. Any lecturer that comes in class, the first thing they do is prayer and they read a verse from the Bible. I have already seen a great future in me and a doctor that will become in future because its mission is to train highly qualified medical doctors. And these medical doctors will be providing holistic Christ-like services to the communities. Currently, Asome is located inside the campus of the Adventist University of Central Africa, where there are only four faculty houses. The faculty includes both local and international professors. The school is growing, and more faculty will come over the next few years. There is a need for adequate housing, a place where they can live on campus while being part of student life. No, unfortunately, we are living outside because we don't have a, a house right now to live inside. Living 100% here will be very and totally different because we can share all time with the students. Building faculty housing on campus is a top priority as there is a direct connection between the faculty's proximity to the students and the students' social, spiritual, and intellectual growth. The benefit of having professors within the campus is, is unique. Uh, you have more access to your students. Your students have more access to you. You model to the students. The students get to see what's being modeled, not only as a health professional, but in your own lifestyle. So having a Sabbath worship, having a Friday worship, having a weekend worship, be it in the morning or in the evening with a student, having lunch or dinner with them, and where they can come and see what's happening. It's a completely different scenario when you have faculty living within the campus to having them outside. The 13th Sabbath offering this quarter will help schools in the East Central Africa region, including Asome. Please pray for the students and faculty at this school. Pray that they can become influential health leaders in their communities through quality education. Thank you for supporting the 13th Sabbath mission offerings for Asome. God bless you. The first mission station in Uganda was built in Nchwanga, about 160 kilometers outside of the capital city of Kampala. The ground where I am speaking from is called Nchwanga. This place is very historical in the history of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Uganda because our pioneers in the year 1927 in December, they came and camped here. This is where the very first Seventh-day Adventist mission station was established in the country. And from here, our church has grown and has spread to all parts of the country, having been launched from this very ground. After 20 years of working in this territory, missionaries learned that the work was progressing faster near the city of Kampala. So they moved their headquarters from this fertile one square mile of land to a spot near Kampala. Today, the landscape of Uganda might look a little different than it did back then, but there are still great mission opportunities. About 80% of the population is under the age of 35, 
and the median age for the whole country is 16. There is a vibrancy and energy in the population, but there is also the challenge of unemployment. As leaders of this caring church, they see this challenge as a chance to nurture and equip them by implementing Christ's method. A center of influence is being started in Nchwanga, where Adventist work began in the country. We want to establish a discipleship and a livelihood training center. When we bring these young people, we will disciple them, ground them in our values, ground them in the Seventh-day Adventist lifestyle. But above all, we also want to integrate livelihood skills so that in addition to being equipped to sharing their faith and participating in the life and the mission of the church, they are also equipped to be self-supporting so that they can go all over the country and witness for Christ, but also share in the skills they will acquire from this very ground in, 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 in Chuanga. At this training center, students will receive hands-on agricultural experience. They will learn how to work with the ground, nurture crops, watch them grow, and enjoy the harvest. The farm is big enough to train and equip many students. This farm is seated on 640 acres of land. That is one square mile. So um, we have uh, projects of uh, banana plantation, pineapple plantation, cocoa plantation, and uh, fish ponds, and also passion fruit plantation. This farm is uh, here as the initiative of Western Uganda Field to provide uh, food to the community. This is uh, a food basket to the surrounding communities. So the aim of this uh, farm, it is to provide the quality food and solve uh, the hunger problem to the surrounding communities. Currently, the church rents a big portion of the land to community members, which helps their livelihood. There are 13 workers to maintain the farm. The plan to use this farm as a training center is well accepted by the local church and the management of this farm, as well as the community. But when the church manages to establish um, a research center or a, an institution which can train people in skills and also um, give hands-on knowledge, I think it will be an ideal and also an answer to the church first and also to the community at large. So whenever we bring the youth of the church can be trained and get the skills to go and advance the mission with the self-support skills that they will have gained from this place. Your 13th Sabbath offering will help build this training center. The church is excited to train and equip more youth who can go out to preach the gospel and support themselves to disciple others. Please pray for this project, especially the students that are coming to this training center. Thank you for supporting the Satini Sabbath mission offering in this place.